Thanks for joining us today. Did you know I have a mompreneur idea? Do you? Yeah, and I'll give it away just for the sake of Here's one for good me. banter, if you want to call it that. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on. Okay. And he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. That hits the spot. My gums are itchy. Okay, let's try 18. Yep. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up here in 20 seconds. We're going to go to 8G. We're going to dive down the runway, accelerate, oh, oh, and then we're going to do a, a knife edge one way, and then we're going to go back the other way. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Picking up speed. Okay, we'll get ourselves. Here we go. And we go. Right. And then we go left. And let's go. Oh. Squeezing. Squeezing. Oh. Keep squeezing. Oh Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Oh. Keep squeezing. Oh. Fox 4 will join thousands in a walk for healthier babies this weekend. The March of Dimes March for, including, okay, and Fiona will be taking part in this, I think. And despite all the chaos caused by the fence collapse on the bridge, tonight a young couple in love, well, we're in the dark, but the story goes on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Monika ejeren af bilen her bag mig næste gang overvejer i... Shit. Okay. Ah! No! Let's get the folks out. Linda Schmidt, who's live at Gracie Mansion tonight, where the family will be shitting, sitting shiva tomorrow, Linda. They could get a new poop pope sooner than expected. Coming up, there's still plenty of time to take part in our last Stuff a Butt a Bus event of the season. We'll hopefully get confirmation either way in the next hour or so. Business still not completed here. Chris Hewton, the manager, still here on site at Carrow Road. Of course, 50 Cent here. I gotta go talk to Danica Patrick. Good to see you. I do like how Troy talked about how the zombies out here because they basically what is left is the people walking around with this glazed look in their eyes and just stumbling. Hey. Like this one behind me. Hi, yes. How are you doing? California. Oh, very nice to meet you. You know, we're going to do a story. You're going to do an interview with us? Sure. Okay, because we were just talking about here along Bourbon Street and uh -huh. the STD rate that's been going on here. And so how long have you um, have you had an STD? I don't have an STD. Oh, then why did you want to talk? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'm yet. so sorry. Are, are you serious? You're going to be ashamed of it. No, I don't have an STD. That's oh, not okay. Okay. Oh my yes. Bad. Anyway, so I've been taking care of. Uh, yeah, yeah, that in my own little way. <laughs> so, no, you can see what I've been having to deal with out here. And so far, what we've been basically dealing with is that and uh, the smell. I told you that, guys, that. Thursday at 11 o'clock, they're going to take you undercover into the shady world of illegal butt injections. I'm Luann Khan with the NBC 10 Investigators. Who am I chasing? <laughs> so sorry. Some of us obviously are not interested, but that is the story that's coming up for tomorrow. You, you got your camera on? Huh? Don't touch me, sir. It only costs 20 to 35 bucks sir. to bust this man in the mouth. Sir, who are you? None of your business. And what do you have? Why are you helping me? Don't touch me. This is assault right now. And we'll call the police if you don't let me. Good, let's get him down here. Your son's facing some pretty serious charges, and you seem to be back in business now. In a new place where people don't know you. I'm good. We'd like to... Don't you dare attempt to go in my business. Don't you dare. Now you better get your shit and get it gone before that man gets here. Well, we'll be we'll be calling the police and you'll be arrested for assault, sir. You just punched me yeah, in the you're face. Trying to get in. in no sir, one you were invited. Holding, you were holding the door. No one invited you in there. And you didn't tell us not to go in either. And you just punched me in the face. Yeah, and I'm gonna punch you again. There's Holly Baker right there. Good morning, Holly. That's the one nice thing about the Midwest, where you get all those nice colors out there. And speaking of the colors, we have uh, Tyler, Me Tyler Weir. Thanks, guys. Storm Warren 7 live Doppler radar is not showing any rain in southwest Florida. It is showing Jeff Butera, though, briefly. Mm -hmm. After Jeff tracks through the area, we are going to see temperatures drop slightly tonight. Some sunshine today headed for... Woo! That was scary. Sorry, a light just blew out. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just it's like dripping stuff. It's okay. Okay. It's like uh, 
Not good. Looking like a nice day to maybe head outside with your uh, significant other or whoever you want to hang out with. <laughs> and then uh, the weekend so far so good. Should be dry, but in the 40s. So it was slow and slutty. Slutty? <laughs> Steady. Steady. The race. We knew what you meant. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Danielle. I decided I was going to ask my friends over at Fredericks of Hollywood to stop by this morning to help me with the seven day forecast. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Cora and Renee. Um, and as Frank Buckley would say, I am just doing this for the home viewer. Yeah. So, ladies, welcome. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get out of the way. Why don't we just show the uh, seven day outlook, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at here. I'm going to get out of the way. So you guys point. Okay. Tuesday, 59 degrees. Wednesday. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. That looks good. 63 on your Saturday. And uh, temperature wise, there, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain showers. <laughs> Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? He wants to be a weatherman. So that's a look at the forecast. Um, and uh, if you're looking for any last-minute gift ideas for that special someone, yeah. head over to Fredericks of Hollywood. They have 